K-squared fitness. Today I'm going to be breaking down the elbow jack. Alright guys, so key points of performance, we're adding in another variation of our plank, but let's make sure we're doing the plank properly first. So one thing I want to talk about is your hand position. Whenever you get into planks, I see this all the time. If you're training with your elbows here, get into your plank or you know whatever you're doing, if you have your arms in this position, what are you training? You're training your shoulders to be tight through here. So the simplest thing you can do, don't put them together, turn them out neutral, and you see I'm already having a better posture. So if we can get a small little change going neutral when we do planks, you're already beginning giving yourself and your body better mechanics. So neutral hands, the second thing I want to talk about is your pelvic position. I'm going to start on my knees just to exaggerate it. I want you to intentionally arch your back and then tuck and roll your pelvis. Arch your back, tuck and roll your pelvis. This position right here is where I want you to be. When you're locked and loaded, it gets you into a strong hollow body, it turns your core on, and that's where you want to be strong. Another component when we talk about core, it's not just your abs. You want to get your glutes to work too, that's what protects your back. To do that, after you've mastered the pelvic roll, I want you to make your heels touch, squeeze your glutes, keep this locked and loaded, and then from here, I want you to notice the shape of that rounding is very intentional. It's the exact same position of whenever we're doing the hollow body here. Same position, core's tight, rounded and scooped. It's foundational movements for me and in gymnastics. So I got the perfect elbow plank, locked and loaded, adding the elbow jack, hips go to the deck, re uh, Re-engage that exact same position. The tendency is going to be whenever your hips come to death, to not re-tighten, to not squeeze your glutes, to just hit the deck, bring your feet together, hit the deck, bring your feet together. Something like this here. You start to be unintentional and you're just moving through space. Every time you pop your, pop your hips back up, lock and load, squeeze your glutes, it's going to work a lot better. That's the elbow jack. Get after it.